Welcome back. So far in this tutorial, we've covered two ways a game can end. Checkmate and stalemate. But a game can also end if one player resigns or if both players agree to a draw. To support this, it should be possible to start a new game at any time. So in this video, we'll add a simple pause menu which can be opened whenever. It contains two buttons. Continue simply closes the menu. And Restart starts a new game, of course. We begin by adding a new user control called Pause Menu. Let me adjust the layout a bit, so it's easier to see what's going on. This menu will be very similar to both the Game Over menu and the Promotion menu. We start with an outer border. I'll use 275 for the width. and 125 for the height. I'll also apply our border style to it. And inside the border, we add a grid. Let's give it two rows with equal height. and two columns with equal width. In the top row, we'll add a text block which spans both columns. I'll make it say restart game with a question mark. And apply our text style. with a font size of 28. Next, we'll add two buttons in the bottom row. The first one will say continue. And it should use our button style. Let's set its width to 80 and its height to 30. The other button should be almost identical, so let's copy and paste this one. We just have to put it in column 1 of the grid. and change its text to Restart. Finally, we need to know when a player clicks on a button. For the Continue button, let's add an event handler called Continue Click. And for the Restart button, I'll add one called Restart Click.
to auto generate the event handlers, we right click on their names and choose go to definition. Here in the code behind, we add an event called option selected. If continue is clicked, we'll invoke it with the continue option. And if restart is clicked, we'll invoke it with the restart option. Our pause menu is now done. The only thing left to do is to show it from the main window. I want it to open when the escape key is pressed, so let's go to mainwindow.saml. Here we'll add a key down event handler. Next, let's go to the code behind and locate this event handler. If there is no menu on screen already, and the pressed key was escape, Then we invoke a method called show pause menu. We'll write this method now. First, we create a pause menu. And add it to the menu container. Next, we need an event handler for option selected. The code here will be executed when a player clicks on continue or restart. In either case, we hide the menu and if the restart option was selected, We restart the game. Great, we're almost done. We just have to add one thing in the restart game method. Because it is now possible to restart the game while a piece is selected, we must set selected pose to null here. And that's it. Let's see the menu in action. I'll just make a few moves. And now if I press the escape key, our pause menu shows up. If I click continue, the menu goes away, but nothing else happened. But if I click restart, then a new game is started. In the next part, will handle some scenarios where a game should automatically end in a draw, because otherwise it would go on forever. See you then.